Be sitting for an exclusive interview with actress Daniela C. Since gracing the TV screen on Showtime's sizzling sapphic soap, The L Word, Daniela has become a fan favorite. Her stirring portrayal of Max, a handsome transgendered man, has gotten people all riled up around the globe. And I gotta tell you, it's gotten me pretty steamed up as well. <laughs> no kidding, she couldn't stop cooing, gushing, and swooning over this gal in the van ride on the way over here. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go meet her. And please, don't embarrass me. I know how to handle myself. <laughs> Daniela C. Thank you for having me. I've got an L-word question. Okay. Why did you cheat on Jenny with Billy? I mean, didn't you love Jenny anymore? Well, I, I mean, as an actor, I usually look to the script to find clues as to what's going on. Now, now you say you look through the script for clues. Might you find the clue to solve a mystery in a script? Well, I guess the mystery is just the essence of who this person is, what is their deepest dreams. The mysteries of self. Mm. <laughs> the mysteries of selfhood. What's it like being gay in Hollywood? Great. It's so fun. <laughs> big, big party all the time? Yeah, just being yourself. I don't know. I don't think Hollywood is such a queer place, and it always has been. So, uh, do you know Ellen? No. How about Rosie? No. Hmm. I thought y'all talk to each other in Hollywood. Well, I mean, I may meet them sometime. I don't know. I've never been with a woman, but I'd really love to have my, my first lesbian kiss. <laughs> you guys got to be kidding me. Jeez, I, I'm sorry. I just, no, I, it's not that I don't, you know, f think you're beautiful. I mean, you're, you're gorgeous. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm just a little camera shy, really. Changing the subject. <laughs> Who have you loved working with? A lot of people, really. I, I had so much fun on this on Itty Bitty Titty Committee, all the women that I worked with on that. It's a it's about it's a tale of of anarchist feminists who um, we end up blowing up the World Trade. I mean, not the World Hook Off. That again. <laughs> Whoa, we this end, is a, quite a subversive film here. We end up blowing up the Washington Monument, the biggest phallic symbol in the world. I knew and, there was uh, a gay agenda, but now we really got to yeah, watch out. It's, First it's marriage, then it's. The next national monument. And it's a great Ooh. soundtrack with peaches, a bikini kill. I'm sorry. I can't say itty bitty titty committee without erupting a burst of giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Good fun. <laughs> oh, go oh. see it. If you want to say it, go see it, right? Three yeah. times fast. Itty bitty itty bitty itty bitty itty bitty itty bitty. That is fun. That is fun. <laughs> Who was a real bitch to work with? I wish I could tell you, but I can't answer that. Sorry. <laughs> Must have been a real bitch. Yeah. She's afraid of retribution. <laughs> <laughs> That's very professional of you. I, I commend you for that. <laughs> There's been many bitches I've worked with in the biz, Mary Hart, and uh, and it's been a struggle to, to keep my lips sealed, Luther Gibbons. <laughs> what brings you joy? Gosh, well... I, you know what? I have to say there's a, there, a million things come to mind, which is a good thing. Um, one of the main things I love is hanging out with my friends and my family. I also love surfing and hiking and swimming, dancing, playing music. Real renaissance gal. Slam dancing. Ooh. Cooking. Oh. Anything more you want to know? What don't you do? That's the only question <laughs> I've got left. What don't I do? Yeah. Whew, what don't I do? I don't eat meat. I don't eat dairy almost at all. A little bit, not much. Once in a while, don't you just hanker for a good old filet mignon? No, absolutely not. <laughs> when I think about the Holocaust that's happening to the animals in this country right now, living in factory farms, being slaughtered, never knowing anything of, of, but torture in their whole lives, I just don't want to take part in it, you know? Absolutely, yes. That said, there's nothing like a good old burger. Well, you could have a veggie burger, garden burger. Hmm. Complete the sentence. Blank would make the world a better place. Empathy. Empathy would make the world a better place. Well put. I can really see myself blanking in five years from now. I can really see myself surfing in five years from now. I love blank, but blank, not so much. This is weird. Um, I love feminism, but war, not so much. If you could open the door and see blank, 
What would it be? If I could open the door and see Rivendell. What is that? I, I pray. If I could open the door and see the land of the elves and fairies. Mm. That would be pretty cool. As long as they weren't scared of me. Hmm. As long as they weren't scary. But I guess they wouldn't. Are there scary elves? Is there such thing? Are they all good? Are They're elves? good. Okay. I'd like to go there. <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> Name a regret. A regret? Mm. A regret of mine is that I never videotaped my maternal grandmother and interviewed her. I don't have many regrets, but that's one of them. Well, words of wisdom I took from the Broadway musical Rent, forget regret. No day yeah. but today. That's <sighs> true. I listened to that soundtrack in my car on the way to the studio. That's great. Rent mm. is great. It's a great musical. Yeah. Well, it's been a while since you've been asked this, but how about that kiss? I'm not going to kiss you on screen. It's weird. What? Why are you looking at me? Well, I just know you can make one girl very happy with just one kiss. Oh, my heart is melting. Mine's palpitating. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're I don't beautiful. I can come woman. out to my, my parents and my whole. What does this mean for my family life, my professional life? She's crossed over. She's you've taken her. You've carried her across the threshold into queer land. Welcome. You're going to have a blast. I better scooch my chair a little further away from you. I don't want to catch the bug. 